Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Princess Evangel W Happiness Ruriko Route. Recall what happened? I don't know about animals, I should check. I quickly asked the driver then came right back. The driver doesn't mind as long as he behaves. Oh yeah, this is Pantabaru. Yeah. Oh, Ch Chio's here? Oh. Wow, you sleep together? Wow. Her chest. Antebaru, you lucky dog. Oh. That that was that, that was it? Oh. That was so much fun. Oh yeah, you read my mind. Yeah, I thought of the same thing at the same time. That made me strangely happy. Ah ha ha! We shared a heartwarming laugh together. That alone was enough to make my heart quiver. But if he, but if he's just hot, then he shouldn't be going outside over it, should it? Should he? Or you can periodically take caffeine pills and you'll stay up all night. And then you will get caffeine withdrawal because that is the worst thing you will ever get and it's the worst headache I've ever gotten. Anyways, where in the world was Pantabaru sneaking off to? What Tami-san said could have been right on the money. Indeed. And he has no idea what we're talking about. Underberry looked up between me and Ruriko san. I mean, he can get any girl. Look at him with his top hat. Okay, do your best. Let me know how it turns out tomorrow. And back to the movie. Oh, I love it. It's so kawaii. Closing ceremony. The next day, Saturday, was a closing ceremony. Today marked the end of the first term. Oh, really? Thank goodness. I was glad I hadn't ended up expelled in the first term. I made it through Premier Judgment would be able to attend Vansen until at least the end of the school year. I also meant I could live in my precious dorm room for another 8 months. But then again, I, I did win the lottery, so it, it should be okay anyways. But anyways, I like being here with all the girls around. I could eat as much delicious food as I wanted. And I could continue to experience a fun school life. But yeah, that's true. He never had a fun school life. Furthermore... I'll be Ruriko-san too. Wait, why was Ruriko-san the first thing that had popped in my mind? Girlfriend, what are those? Are they tasty? My old appalling lifestyle had made a complete 180 and I now had a few female friends. And among them all, Ruriko-san was the first to come to mind. Oh, what does that mean? I didn't think she and I were especially close compared to the others though. Whoa, if I slack off, I'll be late again. You sure will. Gokigayo! I mean, Ohio! Wait, wait, summer break? What month is this? Risan, you aren't going back to visit your parents' place in Tokyo? You hadn't mentioned something like that before. Well, I have nowhere to go. Yeah. 
夏休みになるとひっそりとしてしまって寂しいものよまあすぐに切り上げて戻ってくる人も多いのですけどねあ、oh. oh, it, it seems like they don't have to pay extra for it maybe they do because they're running out of money yeah I mean all, all you need right now you know they charge you when you're staying at a in the summer Oh, in the dorms, because summer school and yeah, yeah, you're living there for more months than paid. Besides the point. Wow, that was a. Didn't expect that. Uh, that that shift in the scene, the scene transition. When the closing ceremony ended, all of us decided to go eat together. Wait, everyone's staying? Don't you feel so much more at ease after the closing ceremony is over? Oh wait, no, this is a closing ceremony. It wasn't like this at all last year, though. Every day I'd rush to my after school job the second class's end. <laughs> the usual group had gathered together. Suddenly, I noticed Ryuya san's eyes had begun to droop. <laughs> oh, yeah, we definitely have to be, uh, you know, gonna stay in a room. And did she pass out? Ruya sound left while covering her mouth, stifling a yawn. Wait, so is she okay with me now, or, or, or it's still bad terms? Eh, I wonder how everything turned out last night. I watched Ruku san as she staggered off into the distance. I'll ask her about it later. We got in touch via email, then met up in the recreation room later that night. Uh, good evening. Ruga san was sitting on the sofa and greeting me gracefully. Yes. Yeah. Did you fall asleep? Riga san sighed heavily. Oh. Huh? Are we gonna be camping outside our room? Aww. She lifted her skirt a bit to show me her bandaged kneecap. Are you okay? I think a foreign object taped to her delicate white skin was oddly difficult to bear. Thank goodness. <laughs> oh. oh. She was able to brush off her accident like it was nothing. I believe that just exemplified her wonderful, how wonderful her personality was. On top of all that, she was a beautiful, rich, and refined lady. How to describe her? Rugo san was utterly impeccable. Oh, 
間も経ってしまったので夕べは断念したんですよ。Oh, that's what happened. Well, I'm gonna end the episode here, everybody. We'll find out what her next plan will be in the next episode. And if you guys enjoyed this episode, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you, everybody, for watching this episode, and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!